The molecular computer developed at the Weizmann Institute of Science in Israel uses the DNA molecule both as the input data as well as the source of its fuel. The DNA molecule encodes a list of symbols, 1, 0, and 1 in this case, and the initial state of the computation is S0. A pair of molecules, a software molecule and a hardware molecule, approach the input molecule. The software molecule contains a special area for detecting the current state and the current symbol. If there is a match, like in this case, then the hardware molecule can operate on the input molecule, cutting it in both strands and exposing the next state and symbol of the computation. This cleavage operation releases heat, which drives the computation forward. Once a new state and symbol are exposed, S1 and 0 in this case, new software molecules can come, and again, if there is a match, the hardware molecule attached to the software molecule can cut the next symbol, exposing a new state and a new symbol. The symbol that's being cut is scattered, increasing entropy in the system and helping uh, the computation move forward as well. The last symbol in the input is uh, 1, and the last state of the computation, S1, are being detected by the next molecule, which cuts into the final terminal symbol of the computation and exposing either S1 or S0. S1 if there were an odd number of ones in the input, and S0 if there were an even number of ones, like in this case. The computation happens in a test tube, and the test tube contains uh, trillions of other molecular computers operating in parallel, as we see in the picture.